Hi, I'm MJ with Shaws of Sunset. We're here at the Room of Fix Bar. I'm here with the beautiful, beautiful and talented Missy Pyle. So good to meet you. Thank you for you being too, here. Jay, thanks for having me. One of the things I've enjoyed so much is the movie Gone Girl. You right. played a character that would be like, like Nancy Grace. Like Ellen Abbott, yeah, but she was like Nancy, yeah. Ellen Abbott was, it reminded me of Nancy Grace immediately. And when you, how, first of all, what was it like to play that character? It's so much fun. Nancy is, to play someone like Nancy, Nancy is just bold and baller and she, uh, she doesn't really care what anyone thinks. In fact, I, I interviewed her for the Hollywood Reporter. We did an interview, um, and I and and she said to me, you know, love me or hate me. And she said, uh, love me or hate me. But if you don't have a feeling about me, I'll just spew you out of my mouth. You know, she just wants you to. <laughs> She's, she wants you to have an opinion. She's she's strong enough that she doesn't care what anyone else thinks. Right. She's gonna do her thing. And did you feel that playing that role gave you an opportunity to be more ballsy in your personal oh, life? Oh, absolutely. Well, I think I think you know most actors are more comfortable in someone else's skin. Right. So you get to really uh, for someone like her, you get to just eviscerate people. You can just say whatever you want and. You can't do that in your real life. There are consequences. But when you play a character, you can get some of that out. It's really fun. It is great to take that into your real life yeah. and your personal life and be able to say and do whatever you want. Yeah. Tell us also what it was like to work with Ben Affleck. Um, well, I, I've been a, a fan of his for a long time, but I was really kind of blown away by Argo. And I didn't, I didn't know he had such a such depth talent. to him and talent. I mean, I knew he was talented, but... I was really blown away by that, and so I was excited to work with him. And I, you know, it's David Fincher, so we did this one scene um, over like three or four days, and we reshot it a couple times. So I did spend several, um, we did hundreds of takes of different things together, and he was very generous and, and funny, and it was really uh, very cool to spend time with him. Now, since the show is called Rumor Fix, right, there could be any rumors out there that you've ever seen past, present, or maybe future that you would want to clear up. For instance, Ben Affleck is known to be a prankster in the, your interaction. Did he ever play a prank on you, or have you ever experienced something um, something that you'd like to say right here on I Rumor feel Fix? like the biggest prank that Ben Affleck pulled was showing everybody just a tiny bit of his penis. Oh my god. So he's proud of what he's been naturally endowed with. I guess so. Just the we tip? All saw it. Well, it was funny. I, I saw it in this theater, you know, on opening night, and you and, and he turns this way. So he, he actually turns around. You just see a little bit of it, and as he's turning, you can. It's like a rip, like the wave goes through the audience, and everyone goes. <gasps> <laughs> so Ben Affleck's penis. Just a little bit. Just the tip, maybe. Well, like the side. Maybe the and about sides. the tip. This half shaft. This has been really fun. Right, thanks, nice Thank you here. so much for sitting with us. Of course. We're here again at the Rumor Fix Bar Sundance Film Festival with the talented Missy Pyle. And the talented MJ.